welcome to another tutorial session on the remainder concept in this we are doing the higher order remainder concept again using the branch method now mr t spends eight hundred dollars of his money on a sofa set and two-fifths of the remainder on a table now again this word remainder gives us a very good clue that we are using going to use the remainder concept so as with all remainder concept questions, we begin with a total and we start to branch off. Now, of his total amount of money, he spends $800 on a sofa. So, we're going to spend $800 on a sofa. Right? And the rest, how much is left? I do not know how much is left, so that will be my remainder. I'm using a question mark to represent the remainder because I have no idea how much uh, is left in this case. Alright, so let's carry on with the question. He also spent two fifths of the remainder. Two fifths of the remainder. Now, of the remainder means I have to branch off from the remainder. So I'm going to branch off from the remainder here. There you go. Okay. Two fifths of remainder. So two fifths here. Two fifths of the remainder on the table. And the rest will be three fifth. It has to be three fifth because these two must add up to one whole. Alright? And now we are ready to do the final fraction. Final fraction. Now he had one third of his original amount of money left. Well, every time we talk about original amount of money, we are talking about the final fraction. The final fraction is always about the t total amount of money. Alright, so which means that one third is actually the final, one third is actually the final fraction for the amount of money left. So, on the left, is one third of the total amount of money. Remember, of the original amount of money means final fraction, and this one is left. And we know that three fifths of the remainder of money is the same as one third of the original amount of money. Now, we are going to use these two pieces of information. Okay, what? These two fractions, and we're going to work backwards to find what is this question mark. Alright, recall that if I multiply this remainder by this um, fraction that's left, it will give me the final fraction. Alright, now likewise, to get back the remainder, I have to work backwards, and instead of times, I have to do a divide. So, I divide the final fraction from the with the this fraction three fifth and they'll give me the remainder. Okay? So I'm gonna work out what is this remainder right now, the question mark. The remainder which is my question mark. Okay. This is equals to this fraction over here. One third. Right, divided by okay, divided by this fraction three fifth, and that will give me one third times five over three. Notice that I have changed the divide into a times, and I've changed flipped over the second fraction. All right. And 
that will give me uh, 5 out of 9 which means that this question mark here actually is a 5 out of 9 okay actually means a 5 out of 9 and this 5 out of 9 if this is 5 out of 9 how much is the f uh, what is the fraction spent on the sofa it must be 4 out of 9 right because these two fractions right these two fractions must add up to one whole this 4 out of 9 this is 4 out of 9 it must add up to one whole and of course total will be simply 9 out of 9 okay simply total will be 9 out of 9 so we know that looking at this information here okay looking at this information here we know that 4 out of 9 of the money of this money is equals to $800 so we're going to write down 4 out of 9 of total amount of money is equals to $800 right so we have to find what is 1 unit 1 out of 9 of total must be 800 divided by 4 units and they'll give me $200 right and what is my question my question is how much money did Mr. Tay have and that is actually my total amount of money and I know that my total amount of money is simply 9 out of 9 one whole ok 9 out of 9 of total if this is 4 out of 9 this is 5 out of 9 total must be 4 out of 9 plus 5 out of 9 must be 9 out of 9 ok so this will be $200 multiply by 9 and they'll give me $1,800 and there you got it ok Mr. T has sorry had $1,800 there it is Okay, so this is the high order remainder concept using the branch method. I hope it helps you. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye bye.